Hi, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to convert a jet parallel clamp into a spreader, uh, meaning that rather than the force pushing in from the outside, uh, you can take this movable jaw, flip it around and have the force push outward from the inside. Um, and this is something I think you can do with most bar or um, parallel style clamps, but uh, in particular I'm going to do it with the jet version because I had reason to do this on several of them today. Uh, and while I managed to convert a couple without too much trouble, um, the rest of them gave me a lot of trouble and I couldn't figure out why. I turned to the internet, uh, didn't find a whole lot of information. The closest thing I could find was a Lumberjocks thread from, I think, 2013 where somebody posed the same question and he got a few answers, none of which were really conclusive and they didn't really have a, good, a lot of good information and so I thought uh, since I finally figured it out myself, I would make a video myself showing you how to do this. So the first step of the process is to actually remove the movable jaw from the end of the bar. Uh, now I don't have it on right now, but a lot of times these uh, clamps will come with this end stop here. Um, and all you have to do is just loosen it up and take it off, which I'm sure you know how to do if you own one of these clamps. Um, and then the next thing you do is you have to take this and just slide it right off. So again, as I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, you just depress this lever here, kind of tilt the this lever forward a little bit as you do that, and it just slides right to the end. It does get hung up a little bit as you get to the end, but you kind of just have to reorient it, keep that lever depressed, and then slide it right off the end. And then next we have to flip this around to this direction and then slide it back on the end. And that's the tricky part, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so we've changed camera angles here so I can kind of show you what's going on with this jaw because this really, for me, was the key to figuring out how to get this to work. So, you'll see that on the jaw, there's basically five rectangular holes or slots that you need to fish the bar through in order to get it to go on. Um, so... You've got the, the front one here in the plastic, you've got the back one here in the plastic as well. And you can also see as we look right through, the holes all line up and go right through. Um, you've got this movable kind of pivoting uh, black metal block here in here that's connected to the handle as you move the handle. Now in the front of that, uh, it's kind of hard to see. I'll see the light on my phone kind of helps you can kind of see it uh, right here. And then on the other side, you've got a similar one right there. And then, this one's tricky to see, but then between those two, uh, connected to this lever right here, at the terminal end of that, you've got a fifth hole right in the middle. And you can kind of see it as I tilt that lever, you can kind of see that mechanism moving a little bit. And that's kind of what helps it ratchet and, and lock onto that bar. Um, now, a lot of the, or the very few tips that I saw on the internet for uh, getting the jaw back on kind of talked about you know kind of fiddling with the handle and and kind of you know moving this a little bit but what I realized after playing around is that this lever here doesn't just pivot up and down but it also kind of translates up let's see hold this here it kind of slides like this so if you don't just pivot it but if you actually push it up and down it'll kind of slide a little bit and you can see what's happening inside these holes as I, as I slide it. You can kind of see the rectangular holes. See how it kind of comes up from the bottom there and kind of narrows the opening? That was the problem with me. I think on all the clamps that I couldn't get to convert properly, what was happening is this lever was in the up position and it was closing that, that opening a bit so that as the end of the bar tried to fish its way through from behind it was getting hung up on that it was just butting into it and it couldn't get through so it took me a while fiddling to figure out that oh all i needed to do was just kind of take this and push it down to then open up that opening a little bit from there to there just like that uh and that allowed the bar and it does take a little bit of fiddling but once you realize that that's the problem you can kind of just hold it like this as you fish the bar through i personally found it was easier um, to kind of sit down on a stool uh, and then kind of plant or the fixed jaw of the clamp on the ground uh, and then kind of work it through from this angle until I got it through. Uh, and then 
once you get it through that middle one, it's pretty easy. You're just going to make sure that, you know, this thing isn't angled too much so that you can kind of get it all fished through sideways like that. You just have to make sure they're all lined up. Okay, so I've changed angles again to see if I can't show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to start with the jaw in the position that I want in reverse here. And I'm going to slate down these holes uh, like we talked about before. And I'm going to make sure I find it helps to actually start with this lever kind of slid down as far as it'll go. Because that should open the hole up about as much as it can go. And then while looking at it in this position, I'm going to take the bar. And fishing it through the first couple holes isn't too difficult. We're just going to kind of sight down it. You can see the end of the bar coming through. We're going to kind of wiggle that black box in there to kind of get it through that first hole in the black box. And then this is where you kind of hit the trouble. Uh, now you're at that, that pivot lever hole. And so this is where you kind of have to maybe fiddle with it a little bit. But just making sure that it's in that most open position. And then I just got it. It just slid through. So then once you kind of get it fit through like that, then you can kind of depress that lever a little bit like you would to slide it because it needs to, uh, you need to depress this lever this way to kind of get it to slide through. And then from there, you really just have to make sure, like I said before, make sure that this is all lined up through here so it's not, you know, tilted one way or the other. And then you can fish it through and then you slide it. So once you have the movable jaw, um, in its reverse configuration and you've got the bar fished through all five of those rectangular openings then all you have to do is just depress that lever and kind of wiggle the handle like you normally do and just slide it right over the bar just like normal except backwards and now you can enjoy your jet parallel clamp as a spreader so if you didn't know you could do this at all uh, enjoy uh, if you did know you could do this, but you were just struggling with it like I was, well, hopefully now you can make this conversion a lot more easily going forward. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I should note that if you want to change this back to the normal clamp configuration, uh, I personally found it a lot easier to do that. Um, so, again, you just have to remove this jaw. It slides right off. Then you turn it around. And you could just use the same process of aligning the rectangular holes like we did before. But as I said, I personally found it a lot simpler going on. Let's see if I can do it. I almost got it. Let's see if I just, there we go. Just like that. For some reason, it's easier going back to normal than it is going uh, into the spreader configuration. Go figure.